Hello and welcome to a new season of Wildcat Action News. I'm Emma. And I'm Finley. This week we are starting off with our top story, listening to Lauren for the story. Hi, I'm Lauren. Last week, 5th graders participated in the annual 5th grade science fair. Students from all grade levels were invited to come to the science fair and check out the experiments. Wildcat Action News was there to catch the fun. Let's send it to Charles, Dia, and Advic, who were there to talk to our Wildcats. Mr. Conley, can you tell us a little bit of the science fair? Sure. Well, our fifth graders have been working hard the last couple of weeks on doing some experiments with groups, and they were, they were just really excited to show everything that they found out from these experiments and share their results with the whole school. So this is something we've been doing for a few years, where students throughout the building get to come and see the experiments and what our fifth graders have been working on, and I think everybody's learning a lot and having a lot of fun. Ms. McCorney, can you tell us about the science fair? Sure, Dia. Um, we have all fifth grade doing a science experiment over the past two weeks, and they're testing out the scientific process of if their hypothesis was correct or not. So today we get to invite everyone to see our results. What was your favorite science fair exhibit? I like the one where I cleaned the coins. What do you think of the science fair? Um, I think it's really cool because you get to learn all about like science and stuff. What did you learn in the science fair? Uh, that the more the, the more the time is longer, the more evaporation happens. What did you learn in the science fair? Uh, about the bigger the boat, the uh, the more pennies it can, the more pennies it can weigh. What do you have learned about so far? What I have learned about so far is that in one of the experience, when you shake up a soda bottle for two minutes and you wait you wait for a little while if you wait when you wait at that time limit after so it does it'll either only experiment a little bit of bubbles what do you think of the science fair I think it's really cool because I get to learn a bunch of stuff and learn new things the fifth grade science fair was a big success great job for our fifth graders and all of the students who participated in the event for Wildcat Action News, I'm Lauren. Let's send it back to the newsroom. Let's go to Carson and Sophia for the week's staff spotlight. Hello, I'm Carson. And I'm Sophie. Today, we are here with Mrs. Klein for this week's staff spotlight. How long have you been teaching at Wilder Waite? This is actually my first year teaching at Wilder Waite. What do you like most about being a teacher? I love the children, but I also love seeing the growth that kids make as the year goes on. What is your favorite hobby? I love to go swimming with my kids. What is your favorite food to eat? Pizza. That is my favorite also. It's a good one. What is your favorite book? My favorite book, I think, when I was about your age was Number the Stars by Lois Lowry. Where do you like to go on vacation? I love to go to the beach. One of my favorite spots is St. Pete's Beach in Florida. Thank you, Mrs. Klein, for joining us this week and telling us about yourself. Thanks for having me. Let's, Let's send, send it, it back, back up to, to the, the newsroom. Room. It's time for this week's good news. Hello, we are the 5A Good News Crew. I'm Sanvi. I'm Jules. I'm Sydney. We are on the lookout for Wildcats who have been meeting all four school expectations. Safe, kind, respectful, and responsible. Um, our te your teacher told us that you've been 
meeting our four expectations. What expectation have you been meeting? I've been kind. How have you been kind? Um, like helping people and saying nice words. Your teacher said you were meeting the four, one of the four expectations at Walder Way. What have you been meeting? Kind. What did you do that was kind? Hold up the tap sign when I was in the hallway and some people were talking. Your teacher has been saying you've been respectful. What have you been doing to be respectful? Following directions. We are proud of all of our Wallcats. We we catch catch you being great. This is the Good News Crew. Until next week, be great, Wallcats. What do you call a boomerang which doesn't come back? A stick. We are going to check in on our new segment featuring Wilder Weight Buddy Rooms. Let's send it to 5P for the story. I'm Kinley from 5P. Today we are going to interview Mrs. McConaughey's second grade class because they are our classroom buddies. We are here with Kendall. And who is your classroom buddy? Elise. Okay. What do you like most about your classroom buddy? She's kind. We are with another student from 2M, Dominic. Who is your classroom buddy? Elise. What was your favorite activity we have done with our classroom buddies in 5P? Walking on the nature trail. Today we're here with Mrs. Hare, who's teaching for Miss McConaughey's class while she is out sick. Welcome to Wilder Wait, Mrs. Hare. Thank you. First, what do you like about being classroom buddies with 5P? I love being classroom buddies with 5P. We actually just met for the first time last week. And I love that I got to meet a new teacher and lots of new students at Wilder Wait. To wrap it up, let's have Sophia talk about her classroom buddy. Why are classroom buddies important? Classroom buddies are important because I think we get to show the teacher how responsible we are with kids and we get to have a lot of fun with them. Thank you to them for being our classroom buddies this year. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. Let's take a look at this week's lunch menu. you're eating? Just this good book. Can I see it? It looks like on Monday we're having grilled cheese. And on Tuesday, sweet and sour chicken pot stickers. On Wednesday, we're having nachos grande. And on Thursday, chicken nuggets. On Friday, we're having cheese pizza bread. Mmm. Mm. Looks like a good lunch menu to me. What's that smell? I don't know. Are you cooking something? I don't remember cooking something. Uh oh. See you next week. It's time for this week's quick quiz. Can you get the answer? That's all the time we have for this week. See you next time on Wildcat Action News. Hello, I'm Carson. Sorry. What's that smell? I just wanted to take the book. Oh.